Hello, this is Stampy and welcome to another Cress video. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to, to plant Cress uh, in a variety of different ways. And I'm going to be doing that uh, with uh, with this thing. This is really cool. It's the, uh, the Twigs Plants Grow Kids and it's a, a mini greenhouse. And so what you get with it is you get a, a load of different pots. There's even more of them I've got upstairs, but you can fit uh, 10 in at a time. And why this is good is uh, one, because these pots are, are great anyway. They're a perfect size for, for growing cress. And also you get this greenhouse as well. So rather than having to worry about putting cling film over it or anything, you can just pop this on top and uh, yeah, leave the, uh, the cress to, to grow uh, overnight in, uh, in that way. So let's get planting, shall we then? So uh, as I said, we're going to be uh, using a variety of uh, different materials in order to grow the, the cress. And one of the, the wonderful things about cress is the, the fact that they can grow on pretty much anything. Uh, we're going to be using uh, some more traditional things. We've got some, uh, some cotton wool pads here. And uh, this is probably the, the most common way uh, for people to, to grow cress. So I thought we'd start off with these. And uh, the pads are actually probably slightly too big uh, to fit inside of these, uh, uh, these pots nicely. So I'm just going to go and uh, cut a, a couple of the, the ends of this, uh, this cotton wool off, uh, just like that. And uh, that should be perfect just to, to push down into the, uh, the bottom of the, the pot. Uh, so it's a nice uh, snug fit uh, there down in the, uh, the bottom of the, the pot like that. And uh, then the, the next thing you want to do is to add just a little bit uh, of water. So uh, I'm going to grab some water here and you want it, you want it to be soaked through, but you don't want, you know, you don't want the, the seeds to be swimming. So I think that's uh, probably just about a, a perfect amount there. So you can see it's soaked through. And then the important thing is to make sure it doesn't dry up because if it dries up, then the, uh, the seeds are going to die and then you won't get any tasty cress. So uh, now I've got a, a little pack of my cress seeds here. And uh, we're going to scatter uh, just uh, a few of these in uh, over the uh, the top. Uh, and uh, let's do that there like that. So you don't want too many. You don't want them to be too packed in, uh, but you do want uh, quite a few crests. So I think for a, a first go, uh, that should be uh, quite good. I should have probably cut the, uh, uh, the cotton wool down maybe a bit more and laid it a little bit more flat. But I think uh, that this is going to grow just fine. So I'm going to go and I'll leave that one down there. And then now we're going to try using uh, something else. Uh, I've also got some, some kitchen roll here. And uh, so this is uh, very easy to use because rather than cutting it, you can kind of just fold it down quite a lot. I think I'll cut it, I'll cut it in half, I think, uh, at first, uh, like this, uh, just seeing as the, uh, the pots are so small. And uh, then I can basically uh, fold this down and uh, do exactly the, uh, the same thing that I did with the, the cotton wool. Uh, place it down at the, the bottom, put some water in to soak it through, and then put in the, the seeds. And then I'm actually... I'm going to be leaving these uh, to grow overnight and then I'm going to do another update uh, on the, the next day and see how they are. And I'm also going to do one pot where I'm not going to put anything else in. These seem to be like uh, kind of a nice card material. Uh, apparently they're entirely natu uh, natural and uh, uh, degradable. Uh, so I'm actually going to try just pouring water into the pot, putting some seeds in and just to see if it grows. It's kind of good to, uh, to have fun with, uh, with cress in that way and just kind of see uh, what it is you can do. So I'm going to put the seeds in and uh, then I'm going to add the, the water in afterwards, uh, just like this. And then I'm going to go and pour, uh, once again, a little bit of water in just so it goes and, uh, and soaks through. And then I'm going to go and put that one down there with his friend. And uh, yeah, let's go and do one more. And this time I'm just going to use standard lavatory paper that I'm sure you, uh, you have at home. Uh, this is probably the, the easiest thing to use just because of how thin and light it is. You can really just uh, kind of, uh, I guess I only use uh, one panel once again because of how small the pots are. I can fold this down, push it down at the, the bottom and uh, do the, the same thing. Uh, as I did with all of the, the other times. So uh, let's go and put that down here. I'm gonna go and uh, pour the, the water in first, trying to be careful uh, not to put too much in. That's uh, quite a lot there actually. It's soaking down a little bit. Luckily I'm surrounded by kitchen roll and toilet paper, so there shouldn't be much of a, a problem to go and get that soaked up. And then now once again, I'm gonna go and grab just a, a few seeds and I'm gonna go, whoa, that was a lot more seeds than I planned, but no worries, because I can use these uh, for the, the next pot instead. The one uh, that I said I'm gonna go and uh, just leave empty. So this one, I'm just gonna go and pour the, the seeds in, uh, just like that, a few excess seeds there. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in just to see if anything happens. I don't know uh, whether these ones are, are going to grow, uh, but I guess we'll find out in the, the morning. It normally takes uh, between 24 and 48 hours uh, for the, the seeds to grow. So you can normally see them uh, starting to grow pretty soon. So let's go and uh, place all of these inside of, uh, of my greenhouse here like that. And uh, you can see they're there all inside. And then I just need to place the, the plastic container uh, over the, the top like this. Uh, and this is basically just to stop all of the, the water from evaporating. You don't need uh, to put a container over the top. 
uh, if you keep checking them and refilling them with water. Uh, but this way, I know that they shouldn't dry out because there's nowhere for the, the water to, to go. Uh, so yeah, let's go and check in uh, on them tomorrow. Okay, so welcome back. This is, uh, it's actually a few days uh, after we started them, uh, them growing. And uh, yeah, uh, we've seen growth. We have seen growth. So here's our, our little garden uh, over here. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, they've all grown. So they're not fully grown yet. This one's the closest to, uh, but I thought it would be uh, much more interesting to, to see them uh, before they've uh, all uh, fully grown. Because uh, we can see what's grown more. So over here, uh, this one is the, uh, the cotton wool, uh, which you can see has grown the, uh, the most. And then uh, the the runner up, <laughs> I guess, is uh, is this one. And uh, this is the uh, the lavatory paper. Well, you can see how much that one's grown. And then kind of equal, maybe actually even slightly ahead, uh, we have the. Um uh, the kitchen towel, uh, the uh, the kitchen paper here, uh, you can see that's grown by that much. And even though it hasn't grown very much, I am rather proud. This is the one which had nothing in it whatsoever, apart from the, the pot itself. And all of the uh, the pots have gone a, a little bit soggy, I'm uh, afraid to say. So yeah, you can see uh, that they've all grown. And uh, I guess we can work out that the... Um, uh, the cotton wool is the, the most effective thing uh, to grow uh, the, uh, the crescent. Um, Quite interesting, isn't it? There's all these these different ones, and so that one grew the most, and then it still grew even when it was just in the pot. Very interesting. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that about will do it for this episode of, uh, of Let's Cress. Uh, make sure you come back and uh, join us in the rest of my Cressy adventures uh, in the, the future. And make sure that you leave a like on the video, subscribe, comment on the video, and share the video on Facebook and MySpace. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.